Uh, we're we're over the moon. You know what can I say? It's uh, had all kinds of opinions on whether we did the right thing or not or whatever it was. I mean, we knew we wanted to do this for her to prove what we thought that she deserved this chance, and she just performed so beautifully. So the fact that she's back home and safe and uh, she's got an unbeaten record to go into the history books, uh, we couldn't be happier. We're proud of her. We think John did an unbelievable job with her, and Mikey wrote her like a champ. You know, just we can't thank these guys, two guys, enough for making this this experience for us. And I mean, every race she ran has been an experience. Every time, and going to see her at the barn, she's such a great character. You know, and uh, just to have her this long, and uh, since she was a yearling, and uh, have these guys work on her the way they have, and you know, Annie and I to share this together, it's just been just been the greatest time. Somebody else is going to ask if I don't, so what do you think about the horse of the year question? Well, that's up to you guys, really. You know, it's not really up to us. You know, we, uh, we just brought the horse here. Uh, we beat whoever showed up, frankly. And uh, she ran her race and she won. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from that other filly. As I've always said, she's run a tremendous campaign. And they just love a lot of credit. And uh, uh, I think it's a tough one, so you guys are going to have to figure it out. The social significance is apparent, you know. Women are as good as men. That's it. If not, better on occasion, you know. <laughs> Go for it. Take it. Uh, as uh, uh, regards a match race, I, I believe that this would probably have been Zenyatta's last race. Um, John has done a beautiful job bringing her along, and I think she's given what she has in a race like this. and. Uh, I think she deserves now to go out with her record intact. That's what I think. And I haven't talked about it to John Dottie, or my wife, as you can tell, because we haven't talked about the future. We've just talked about today. So I'm answering your question. Now, if we go out to dinner and have a different response, I'll let you know. How's that? <laughs>